Hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel. It's Kelly from House of Virgo. Happy birthday to you Virgos. Today, if it's your birthday, I hope you have a lovely happy birthday. Um, if you guys want to get a personal reading, there's a link. Everything you need is in the description box below. Um, please do hit like, share, and subscribe if you're new. Welcome. All right, Virgo, let's get into your love reading. We are coming to the end of Virgo season, the end of September, going into October. You know, it's going to be Christmas soon. Um, so yeah, this is a Virgo channel, Virgo sun, moon, rising, or Venus. So take what fits and leave the rest. All right, you guys, let's see. What are your love messages for the end of September? going into October. Virgo love messages. Okay. Children, your love life is being affected by children. Okay. So children, whether they be little children, um, teenagers, adults, your children, if you have children, okay. Um, for those of you who have children, there's a forgiving and learning energy that's happening here okay for some of you and if you don't have children you might be around children in some way nieces nephews maybe you work in or you volunteer somewhere where there's children and the message here in regards to this is forgiving and learning okay there's also forgiving and learning between two people who may have been very immature in a relationship, okay? Um, trying to understand this is a growth process for some. As you, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So for some of you, there could be a connection with someone that you knew each other when you were children or you met when you were way younger or young. And there's been like this change happening in a relationship, okay? Um, and then I'm just getting this other message that your child could be forgiving and understanding you better during this, like this time period. And for others, there's a parent who is, uh, your parent, if they're still around, um, is forgiving and learning about you. Okay. All right. So I feel like that's a specific message and we're just going to put that over there. Let me see what else do we have for love. What other love messages does Virgo need to know? Okay. Making the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Okay. And separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. All right. Well, those seem like two very contradictory messages. Okay. Very contradictory. So what does this mean, Virgo? You know, I feel like there's somebody here whom you may be in separation with. And this time apart is making somebody realize that they have to put more effort or they should have or they need to going forward in the a relationship with you. Okay. So this, yeah, it's very strong right there. Okay. I feel like someone during this separation is gaining clarity. Um, also that you have put in a tremendous amount of effort with them. They're seeing how much effort that you've put in as well. Like it's kind of like, wow, Virgo really did try. Virgo really did take steps towards me to try to make something work here with me and i feel like this is like are they missing you or there's something along these lines where there's like a, an awakening to this happening here okay let me see what other messages does virgo need to know okay wow <laughs> the devil okay the shadow side so there's definitely a shadow period and energy, the shadow, that dark night of the soul. Um, so after a little bit after October, I think after the second, then we go into that 
uh, post shadow period of Mercury retrograde. We're coming out of this post shadow period. So I feel like um, whoever this person is, they are in this Mercury retrograde right now as I'm making this reading. And we're coming close to the end of the retrograde. But always understand if you don't, that even though the, the retrograde ends, you still have the post shadow period, okay? Until it's officially out, right? Like the phases of the moon, fate that goes through phases and it's a very slow process. Um, so Virgo, you know, I gotta tell you, somebody here is really waking up to the effort and the energy that you've put into this connection with them while you are both in separation at this time okay there this this is like lancing the te toxicity uh out of themselves that's what this retrograde is doing it's happening to you it's happening to this person it's happening universally to all people it's also happening i mean i know some of you have been going through maybe these past weeks or a couple weeks and things have been coming to you and things have been like coming up out from under or coming out of the closet or things have just been hitting you and you're like oh my gosh you're having like little epiphanies or awakenings or you know wow this is this might be what this thing is or this is something i have to take a look at or you're seeing things differently and this is also happening to another person here knight of cups energy and the three of wands so virgo i feel like this is kind of like what they're doing next is there's an offer on the table that comes to you from this person the knight of cups energy this is love this is a proposal this person like handing their cup to you might even be physically coming to you to do this getting together with you three of wands i mean i feel like this person is in this position now where they actually see a future with you is this a past person whoever it is i don't know if it's past i don't know if this is someone you could be meeting and then you go into separation i just know if you have someone on your mind at this time during this reading this is who we're talking about and this person is looking into the future looking out onto the horizon of what all the possibilities could be and reaching out to you and waiting for you to return um, either return physically or return some type of response to them after making this knight of cups uh, offer here you know, this is someone, it's a very romantic offer. It's sweet. It's heartfelt. It's like legit giving you, like sharing their love with you. Okay. So, so fluid. It's crazy. Sorry for the blur. You know, my camera has ADD. Yep. Look, offers coming to you, male or female energy. Offers coming to you. 100%. It is coming directly to you. All right, let me just take a look real quick at this shadow side. So what we do see here for you, Virgo, during this time period is, um, you know, during the separation, this whole like boing epiphany waking up. Um, no one this. So I'm, I'm hearing this person and no one has made any kind of an effort towards them in the way that you have and i feel like you made that effort because you see or saw something very special with this person that there was true uh, affection and love and heartfelt appreciation for who this person is like who they are deep inside not who they are on the outside not who they pretend to be not who they show themselves to others to be but who the person that you got to know okay so what is going on so this is part of this is this realization like wow no one and during it and it's in the separation that the healing happens it's in the rest that things begin to change and shift. Sometimes people need to lose other people in order to really appreciate them, okay? Or just be separated for them, from them for a while in order to really get a reset on what they want and how they feel. So what else is this shadow energy here, okay? Page one, so 
Yeah, I, yeah. So Virgo, I feel like this person. How can I say this? Hmm. This person had a like a like a crush kind of thing for you, right? Very childlike, and that's why I was saying in the, in the beginning with that children card, there might have been some childlike not childish, but some childlike behaviors that came from this person, some immaturity, and maybe you mirrored that back to them, but there was immaturity, um, a, maybe a lot of texting, um, and like a, excitement and enthusiasm, but like maybe for some of you, like it just didn't go any further than that. So it kind of seemed like for some of you, you may have felt like this person and they were, um, just doing a whole lot of playing games, reaching out and playing games, a very immature kind of an energy, um, tag your it kind of thing, you know, and that's was very toxic. Um, that was not and this is what is also coming to this person. Um, they never get what they want or didn't have or receive really what they wanted. Um, because they were just playing some games or playing tag with you and it was not deeply fulfilling okay and I feel like you were doing more than that with make the effort you were putting in so much effort to try to have something deep and um, just real with someone and I feel like this person their effort like this was the best that they could arrive at that this is all that they were capable of was this page of wands energy okay um there may have might have even been like a crush or an addiction to you or fantasy or sexual type of thing going on you know but very childlike like a like a 12 year old who has like crush on a boy or a girl or you know a teenager who is like nervous to talk and can only like say so many things i don't know if this is going to resonate for you but this is the energy that i'm picking up here with this person so i do feel like there may be a conversation as well as an offer um, about that this person may say to you for some of you that they miss you they haven't stopped thinking about you there's a lot of obsession with this person you know um, this person can be on the spectrum okay and they may not have the ability um, and I'm not talking about the narcissism spectrum I'm talking about the uh, autism spectrum they may have a difficulty and processing their emotions and being able to verbalize them. They may have a hard time connecting with how they feel. I don't feel like this person lacks empathy. I feel like there's just a kind of a, um, you know, uh, maybe like in their everyday, they come across as capable, like in their career, their job, they, they may mask very well. But when it comes to deep, personal, intimate relationships, maybe you experience this yourself, there's a little bit of like, oh, I don't know how to make that connection. I'm not sure how I feel. But I know that I can't stop thinking about Virgo. And I know that I'm like, super attracted to Virgo. And I know this person may have been intrusive at times. And displayed inappropriate behavior at times that might have confused you you might have felt like oh you know they're chasing after and they're they're a little obsessive but then they disappear and that might be that might be something that this person need to do so like make the effort maybe they were making some effort with you and then separating again and then coming back and making effort and separating so there's like a whole dynamic that's playing out here that i'm picking up in um nine cards <laughs> nine cards here's the lovers virgo this person really does love you to the best of their ability to the best of their um understanding of what love is there was definitely a connection here there still is a connection they still feel this way i do feel like during this separation there's some type of understanding that they're coming to and um, maybe uh, uh, for some an ex 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 uh, understanding about themselves um, the behaviors 
um, why their behaviors, why they, why they did this, what was going on here, um, how they are in relationships with other people and how they've been with you. But I don't feel like this person has ever had any kind of connection with anyone in their life like they've had with you. Okay. This is Gemini energy. This can Mercury rule card. So sometimes this can mask a little as Virgo. Um, we have Capricorn, Taurus. Okay. Let's see what else. And the signs are not definite, uh, definitive. So just take what resonates, leave the rest. Let me see what other messages here. Let's take a look at you, Virgo. Here you are here. Okay. I, I do feel like this person, they do want to have this long term. That This is like this a decision. This person had already decided that you were for them. But the way that they approached or dealt with the connection, probably for some of you didn't feel like that. Okay. Because they I just... I just feel like there's something with this person that they struggle to be typical, okay? They struggle to be typical. Um, maybe you are have typical expectations and this person struggles to meet them, but they, the feeling is there, like, like the, the deep feeling for you. All right, but let's take a look at you, Virgo. Like, honestly, when I'm looking at this card, I just... They gave me the two words, stone cold, stone cold. If you even look at the face, it, it's like stoic. There's no face. There's no facial expression going on here. There's just you and your pentacle sitting still. And I don't know, Virgo, are you numb? Are you kind of like, you don't know what to think? You don't know how it to feel. You're just sitting, you're paralyzed, maybe in fear, or you don't know if you should leave, or you don't know if you should stay, or you don't know. Um, you, I'm, for some of you, there's just this stone cold energy here I'm picking up. And I don't usually see that um, in this card. It just feels like there's a block. Like, let me just see what else is going on. Let me just see. There's something here as well. Wow, about these flowers. These are uh, green roses. How beautiful. Light pastel green roses. Okay. So Virgo, you're very curious. And you might be watching this person or trying to get some information on this person. Um, or you're very, just you might not be doing any spying or stalking. But you're also... For some of you, you're stone cold because you're listening very intently to your intuition. You're listening. There might be things you're discovering about yourself or you're discovering about this person or understanding. You're not making any judgments here. You're collecting information. I feel like you're collecting. Yeah, you're collecting information because you're not ready to make any kind of moves or you won't be when this person comes in. Um, I feel like you might be more in a position of when this person comes in makes this love offer, you might be like, why? Tell me more. Um, collect, you want answers. You're not jumping up and down. I don't see you just going for it. I feel like you're seeking some data <laughs> you're seeking some answers you or that might see there goes your message or some type of um you're curious about what the heck is going on here okay let me see what is going on virgo there's just something here because i feel like there might be a little bit of trauma there might have been something with this connection where there was a lot of in and out energy your heart is kind of closed, stone cold, because opening your heart and having this person leave again is just too much for you to take um, a feeling of abandonment and there's no explanation as to why, okay, or why somebody came into your life at all. So you're in this thing of like, what the hell is going on? And then this person reaching out to you, which I'm feeling will be sometime around like the middle of October, maybe. They're giving me the 15th. 
uh, sometime around October 15th. So, yeah, let me see. Interesting. Okay. Oh, Five of Swords. That's what I'm saying. You feel abused. You feel, Virgo, like, wow, that Page of Swords and that Five of Swords, that's why you're stone cold. You don't want to get hurt. But do you love this person? You know, you're so blocked. It's really hard to even see when I look at you here if there is any feeling left at all. Okay, you've got green roses, but this green represents more um, purity, I feel like, for you. I know white is purity. Um, what the heck does green mean? Wait, I have it. I actually wrote it down. Green, 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 green. Symbolize, okay, symbolizes love, health, um, compassion, a nurturing nature, abundance. It both calms and refreshes your energy and is a sign of renewal and growth and is associated with the heart chakra. So there you go. And they're roses. Yeah, I mean, you've... <laughs> You're protecting yourself, Virgo. I see you protecting yourself when this person comes in. Not because of their love, but because of their disappearing or their detachment or their separating or their needing to. You don't understand why. And what I was telling you here is what I feel like was going on with this person. Okay. Either way, regardless of what somebody has or doesn't have or whatever's going on if you are not aware you still have your feelings and if it feels like it's abusive and that's something that you don't want to go back into that's totally up to you it doesn't mean okay well you know this person has this thing they have to come to terms with that and they have to be able to like talk with you about that you know um because when someone doesn't tell you that they have something or there's something going on and you're left in the dark that can take a toll on your soul and your spirit and your physical self and your mental self. And I feel like right now you're kind of like what with your sword up, like you might even say to this person, why are you, why do you abuse me? Why do you, you know, even neglect is a form of abuse. Why do you neglect this, our relationship? Why do you leave? Why do you come in like that and then run away? Like, I feel if there's going to be any conversation coming out of your mouth, it's not going to be heartfelt, even though it is affecting your heart chakra. Your heart chakra is blocked to this person, but it's blocked to, for protection, not rejection yeah my god these cards speak i'm telling you nine of wands look at that boundaries you have up some serious boundaries here like no you cannot come in this i need answers you're coming back in here if you can't give me answers and you don't know then you need to go if you don't know or i might have some idea you might have a conversation with this person and tell them your behavior comes off as very abusive i'm not comfortable with it and you might say to them what do you think is going on with you that you behave that way guys i'm not seeing narcissism or anything like that i will say there has been studies that have shown um not a correlation not necessarily causation but a masking where there are some people um, the, the autism spectrum can at times to uneducated people look like narcissism, but they are completely different, right? Because people with autism spectrum disorder do have empathy. They do have feelings. It's just a processing issue. Okay, whatever. And, and listen, I am by no means an expert in this. And if I'm at all mistaken, please leave a comment and let me know. Um, because the more we know, the more is better but i do feel like um there is something here where i just can't help it looking at these three cards with you virgo that you're like at this point you're not even sure if you want to be in the connection but you do know that you need answers look at that you're you've got like your your wand out your dukes up that five swords energy is all about you know 
cutting it out you know cut it out tell me the truth i'm ready to slice and dice if i can't if this doesn't get resolved and if you're just coming back in it's tough virgo it is tough this might be even beyond the scope of what i am capable of giving you i mean there's some guided messages here there might be some things that might ring bells for you that might be something that you need to take a look at but i'm i'm not really yeah see look at this those two cards right there for you taking a moment to ponder this ponder this reading ponder this message that i'm giving to you because there's something you don't know and there's something here look at how that person there is standing there the seven of pentacles is like contemplation that four of swords that's like healing renewing self that's rest that's trying to get like go into silence and try to understand this is healing after heartbreak maybe this person wasn't intentionally trying to hurt me maybe this person has things and they've been masking and there's things that i just never understood okay now listen if your person is actually physically abusive to you or has been in the past or there's been some very severe damage that was done it it you know forgiving is for yourself and moving on but if somebody is coming back in i don't see that i don't see somebody here coming back in to abuse you again i'm not seeing it on their part but let's just take another look because i do see a love offer um i do see there, there's kind of like this person realizing that you know you were really good a good person you really loved them you really cared look strength wow okay leo energy here so <laughs> courage to love that's really what i feel like is happening with this person they're going through some definite dark shadow energy and i feel like um the lack of courage to love was really and i'm talking to love because love is a verb it loves an action this is how we love people not just by how we feel it's our feeling that causes us to act from a place of love this person lacked the courage to love that agape love okay that godly love that to love and unconditional to help um to be there to make sacrifices you know to reciprocate there was there's some type of missing piece these are all things that can be not cured but adapted behaviorally and i feel like this person here is gaining this courage you've taught them this virgo this person did not really have an example of how to love another person and they've learned this from you your love is giving them the courage to love you they feel it deep within this reading just about is going to make me cry my readings do not ever make me cry but i'm feeling this oh gosh I, it's overwhelming it's overwhelming okay the stars here this is so much healing um this is so much renewal Aquarian energy here this is all like all of mankind sorrows all is what i'm feeling you know for everyone who struggles in life that feels not lonely but just alone and um just on a grand scale of things i feel like everyone just needs a great big hug in this world uh, just a great big hug for those who those who can even process a hug maybe just pat on the back <laughs> but of encouragement and to understand that you're okay we are okay we can do this we can figure this out you know but again you know i know usually my readings can be very 3d and talk a lot about you know ain't nobody got time for that and you know virgo you you have to take care of yourself and you do and i stand by that but i feel like you know whoever this person is they could be an ex they could be someone you're connecting with currently friend family lover spouse whatever it is understanding acceptance and in love is the 
is the antidote that's all across the board. That's all that's needed at the end of the day understanding acceptance and love for all people and respect you know and i feel virgo there this might have been a twin this may be a twin flame thing where the depth of the understanding and the feeding off of and the bouncing off of and the reciprocating back to each other has caused great growth in this relationship okay but i feel like for you you know you're kind of like mm, you're standing at the gates you know with your security <laughs> vest on and you got your pistol you know and you're kind of like you cannot come in because I don't feel safe and that's really like the gist of it Virgo you you do not feel safe because you don't understand what it is you're dealing with okay um and I feel like if you understood better and had that aha moment, you might be able to release yourself from your grief. If you have grief at this time, because something ended, you might be able to take that off of your shoulder and say, it wasn't me. It was this person, you know, for some of you and for, for others, it could be both of you. And there, there's some, there's some deep reflection here. Okay. A lot of anxiety on your side okay but you have a lot of support for your anxieties and your fears and your stress you know there's people out there and you have to seek it if it's involving whomever this person is romantic friendship acquaintance family member whomever it is um, you have to seek that support to get that help lessen your anxiety Virgo on the romantic front I feel like this person deeply deeply loves you um and it even they may even have sensed that in love feeling to the best of their ability i don't know if this person's ever been in love before or if they've ever truly had someone love them the way you have in the relationship or what they may experience with you going forward if you have not met them yet you know, um, people don't generally walk around through life with their medical badge history on them, <laughs> or they don't walk around and tell people. There, sometimes, whatever people have going on, you know, you, you can meet someone who is going through chemotherapy, and, and people don't want to really put that burden on someone when they first meet them. So, it's all about listening and getting to know someone and knowing what you're looking for. You have to. When you're getting to know someone, you have to step out of yourself and find a way to put yourself in that person's shoes. For some of you, very easy. For others, little difficult, may take a little longer, but it's practice, right? Or to try to just get that information so you can kind of, you know, understand who someone is, right? This feels like one of those really deep readings that we're getting here, okay? so. We've already hit, I was only going to do 15 minutes, but the message kept coming and coming and coming. Um, okay, let me just get some Chinese signs here and see what other messages we have here for the Chinese signs. Okay, so we have Year of the Goat. And remember, it could be you, this could be your person, both of you or none of you, Year of the Tiger, Year of the Pig. Okay, we've got Year of the Ox. We have Year of the Rat, Year of the Dog, it's kind of a new one, okay, Year of the Snake, and, oh, Double Snake, Snake Eyes, Double Goat, okay, and Year of the Rooster, interesting, I'm just going to end this read because I have a personal read to do in about 10 minutes, I'm just going to end your reading with an affirmation for you see what else it is that you need to know and just remember sometime in the middle of October uh, or around that week okay of October like 15th like the week of the 15th something occurring here with this person and just be mindful of not all these messages you know every day it's something different you may resonate one day with one message and the next day be like nah not my read that's okay just keep coming back. Something here will fit and take you on a journey 
that's the whole point of the readings okay wow what a way to end it believe in the impossible okay this situation this is like pray for miracles don't quit before the miracle happens here blue moon mm, that's coming up so believe in the impossible here virgo what you think get step outside of yourself and what may seem like an impossible situation at this time i don't think it's impossible i i think it might feel impossible maybe right now it's improbable because there hasn't been communication if you have already connected with, to this person or you may listen to this reading around you know the end of october and or middle of october you might meet somebody october 1st and then all this plays out just don't quit i'm hearing learn more learn more about yourself and if this person is your person try to understand or try to talk to them if you can if they want to if they want to open up and communicate and try to find out what what the situation is and virgo you're smart you're pretty good at figuring things out virgo and if you're able to say you know something maybe both of us are struggling or maybe it's just this person or you know what maybe it's me and maybe i have some things i have to take a look at too right this is mature love and that's what i said in the beginning forgiving and learning there's a growth process there was an immaturity at the beginning there's two people who are growing into a different kind of a love here all right i'm gonna leave your reading there i hope that was helpful or at least enjoyable and I will see you all tomorrow. Okay. Happy birthday.